Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Indents, and welcome to Prognostic. I don't know anything about this. All I know is that it's scary. And we're gonna play it. So, why bother waiting? Let's just get right to it. All the stories mentioned in the game are fictional. Any resemblance to the biography or appearance of real peoples and blah, blah, blah is purely coincidental. As you know, I can't read that fast, so I'm just assuming that's what I heard how my parents died. My brother and I were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery. I never believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States, a woman named Randolph, a medium, our grandmother. Our mom never talked about her and hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents. But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief, finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed, stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back, and they are not alone. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends, and I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what was wrong. She tried to tell us, and I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. Oh boy. What an unfortunate family, man. Prologue. Personal case. Everyone is just getting stabbed to death. Go to the table and take documents. Use left mouse button to interact with items. Oops, didn't want to do that. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help. Every day he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. You can use divination rituals to uncover new clues. Once you find the culprit, fill out the report and send it to your brother. Solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help. What? I'm, I'm solving cases in a haunted house. That's what this is. Oh God. We got over here under my face. We got Patrick Willis, Zachary Morris, Harrison Hawkins, Andrew May, and Jake Paulson, Paulson, whatever. They're dossiers on those people. Personal case. Why did you come back? We've been watching this old woman go crazy through all our childhood and now you want to take her place? What are you doing? Well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation to the souls of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, which of the neighborhood kids broke my window? I'll send you a description of them, just like the ones the old woman worked with. If you find out who did it, then we'll talk. One of them committed this terrible crime a couple of years ago on December 14th at 1 o'clock in 1902. I live on the first floor in an apartment at 2 Meadows Street. And don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it. I just want to test you out. Submit the culprit dossier. Send a clue about his location at 4th of December. Oh my god, what is this? 
Okay, this is Harrison Hawkins, 14. Son of a single mother, he doesn't go to school, and during the day he works as janitor in a bar. He's 14! I appreciate his desire to help his mother. This is not the place where a child should grow up. There's no way this kid is 16. Son of the owner of a hairdressing salon. A very quarrelsome kid. He's quarrelsome. He's quarrelsome. Very active boy. Constantly running around somewhere doing something. He has a great future ahead of him. And managed not to get in trouble before that. It was this kid. Look at his eyes. Lives in a workhouse nearby. Very quiet and sullen young man. A good, diligent boy, but fell in with bad company. Okay. Huh? A door opened somewhere. Other divinations can only work while, at the while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using instructions from the book. Hold down right mouse button to take a closer look. Candle is necessary for each ritual. Any fortune telling is questions and answers. The answers can be obtained only when there is one who can give you an answer. You cannot imagine what exactly had to be done to prepare this ritual. All you have to do is light a candle. A candle is a conductor. It provides contact with the spirit world. Rituals only work while the candle is burning. I shouldn't have lit it yet. The doors are marked with clues. So find a room, a wall map. It has a symbol of a compass. As soon as the contact is established, the light of the candle will change to blue. Okay. As soon as the candle goes out, connection will be interrupted and rituals become impossible. At this moment, the candles will change their life from blue to yellow. You can find spare candles next to the candlestick. Remove the things. Extinguish one and light a new one to release. Okay, so I need to find a wall map. Sorry, I shouldn't have let you yet. I have to find a wall map? Looks like a... The doors of all ritual rooms are marked with clues. Find a room with a wall map. It has a symbol of a compass. Okay. Wall map? In order to work with ritual map, you need to use dousing rods. Press Q to pull them out. Place the file of one of the suspects on the stand. It's located next to the map. Follow the instructions in the book. Q. Fourteenth of December, one o'clock, nineteen o two. One, so, but but does it have to be thirteen? Thirteen. Fourteenth. Okay. Okay. In order to find a person, to make sure that the ritual candle is lit. Is there a candle in here? There's very, very light crinkly noises in here. Okay. Put the person's dossier next to the map. Patrick Willis. Let's try you, bud. 
Choose the time and count. Okay. Hover dining rods over the map. The closer the rods, the closer the person. The rods will cross in a place where the person was. The rods will spin if the ritual candle has gone out. Place the flag on the right. Address. You spelled the address wrong. In order to find a clue. What? He lives at two. After finding a culprit, you may return to the hallway to fill out the report. It lies on the table. Okay, so that's that's not right. Zach Morris. Where were you, big boy? He lives... First floor. Yeah. Okay. So that would be right here. Okay. So... Alright. So it's not you either. Harrison Hawkins, what's up? Oh, it was Harrison Hawkins. It was Harrison Hawkins. I I would like to... Can I... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go here. Right. Dossier. Harrison... Submit the culprit dossier. Clue. Clues? Ugh. Yeah, this is this is my clue, right? Place the flag. Ah, that's, that's the clue. Okay. Alright. So, clue. Clue. Harrison Hawkins. Send. Her methods are working. Who would have thought? Well, okay. If you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work on it together. This is, this, <laughs> this is not what I expected at all. We got grown-ups. Well, there's, there's one small child and the rest are adults. Gift from God. I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing. On the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Bolton Farm. Home for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their own home as a sacrifice. All the Fultons now cover the murder, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't even know who was in the house. Try using dousing to find the murderer. Send the killer's dossier. Send his or her distinct feature by using dousing ritual on them. Uh, on the victim. Send where the killer was during the murder at the time of death is murdered. Oh. Oh, he's the vic. The, the kid is the vi I don't know. Okay. I don't know much about Luke. I saw him a couple of times in the church. Call him cheerful boy. It's a pity that everything turned out this way. Okay. Okay. So that that's our time. That's our time frame. This is neat, dude. Luke's father. Oh, okay. This is Luke's. Okay. Nathan Fulton is Luke's father. Awkward, absent-minded. 
Every part of his life is dictated by his parents. I've always felt sorry for him, but even compassion has its limits. Okay. Luke's mom. What up? One of those people who can answer any question with a quote from scripture. Ugh. Never mind. Disregard what I was saying before. Our senior detective thinks that she is very sorry about what happened, but it seems to me that she is disappointed not in their act, but in something else. Grandma. She's convinced that she is part of the world's first family of saints. How she came to this conclusion is not very clear. And Grandpa, the patriarch of the family. He was the first who told us about the ceremony. He compared himself to Abraham. He said they gave their greatest treasure to God. I noticed that he often averted his eyes during the interrogation. Sus. It looks like he's hiding something. So this is, this is, this is always the candle? This is always the candle. Uh, why am I doing this here, dude? This place is so spooky. Uh, major court hearing. So, am I... Am I using the same... The same map? Wasn't there stuff in here last time? Whoa. No. Why are... Do door... Are doors just on a timer? I'm gonna watch this door. Do doors just close? Is that part of the... Part of the game? Or are doors being closed? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Chess. What is this? Dossing instruction. Put the vis victim's dossier in the stand. Walk around the house. Crossing the rods will indicate the direction towards object. Okay, so I have to put that there. Oh. Find out which objects the rod... <sighs> Stop doing that, dude. On which objects the rods intersect. Memorize the object and return to his this book if the rods are starting to rotate the ritual candle was extinguished light it up find out the meaning of the item marked the killer's feature on nearby list okay so these are the things that it can be all right so we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta go light the light the light the light the candle again okay this is the map right 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 is there gonna be anything in this house or is it just decrepit because So I want to go. Oh God, it's the buzzing of the bees or whatever. So, do I want to go upstairs? 
because it's Dowsing allows you to find out the feature of a killer. Find the room marked with the dowsing rod sign. Yeah, I I did that though. What is it? It's clock. Is it the clock? Is it the is it the clock? Is a clock a thing? Is a clock a thing? Clocks! Murderer is 30 years old or older. Okay, alright. Ha 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 ha! You're only 29. Twenty-eight, so it's either grandma or grandpa. Okay. Okay. All right. Are not the rooms rods enters. Shit, no, dude. No, no, no. I'm trying to learn right now. I am trying to learn how to how to investigate a murder from here. And you're knocking? Get out of here. Okay. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, no, 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 can I have this back? Can I have this though? January 8th, 1904 at 11, January 8th, 1904 at 11. January 8th at 11. January 8th 1904 at 11. Right. So I could put you there. Right. And they 18 Barnhill Street. Barnhill. Barn Hill 18. Okay. So, oh, but, but no, I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Grandma. Okay. Now let's, now let's see if Grandpa was home. Was Grandpa home? Grandpa wasn't home. Grandpa wasn't home. You were home, you sneaky bitch. You sneaky bitch. Okay. Have I have I figured it out? Have I figured it out? Have I figured it out? Clue. Oh no. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's the clock. All right. Okay. It's the clock. Gotcha. Nah, fam. Okay. All right, we'll just go this way about it. We'll just go this way. You know? Simple as that. Simple as that. Oh! Add the killer's features into your clues. Ages 30 years or older. Nah, bruh! No! Whispers! Indicate that one of the mirrors has been opened. The dousing rods will point the way to that mirror. Close it as soon as possible to get rid of the intruder. What do you mean?
Now you are on the on your own. Solve the case. What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah! <laughs> I've done it. I have done it. Nope. I have done it. I have done it. Clue. Clue. Fulton. Send. I heard, yeah, I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case give me, gave me an idea about death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different. Right? What? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, which a clear pattern is pos impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes are aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged. This is about my grandma? If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I will try to find the last people she spoke to. Wait, but I got it right. I got the, I got the, I got the grandma killing, killing little boy, little boy or girl, right? I had to, right? I thought the little thing that I just read about my grandma being stabbed was gonna, was gonna be about the, the case that I just solved. I, I'm confused now, but I think I got it right. I had to have. Right? I don't know. But. I'm going to leave this episode here. If you want me to play more of this. Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It would really help me out. This is interesting. This game is interesting. It's interesting. It is not at all. What I thought it was going to be. But it's pretty cool. I hope you think so too. That's going to do it for this episode. Prognostic. Interesting. Weird. Cool. Good stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there. And I will see you around.